So we have a current exhibition right now called Autonomous. Um, and it's really about exploring this new disruptive technology that's on all of our doorsteps, right? Artificial intelligence. Um, and when you think of different disruptors in the art world, it's happened over and over, starting you know, way long ago when photography came into the world, it was also this big disruptor, right? And so we look at artificial intelligence as very much one of those disruptors, um, but we don't look at it as destroying the world as we know it. Um, and so this was really an, an exploration. Um, John Stringfellow and his partner Val Gersher came to us and said, hey, we're interested in utilizing AI art and we're interested in supporting an exhibition that explores how art are utilizing it from generative work to ideation and really just using it through stages of their creative process. I come from a science museum background, so disruptive technologies and future-focused thinking is something that I love to think about, right? Autonomous vehicles are scary to people. I put 100,000 people on an autonomous vehicle in Tampa, and now they use that as a first and last mile solution in downtown Tampa because people aren't scared of it. You just have to give them access to it. Um, and so I love bringing that. And also where science and art come together, that's like the space of creativity, right? Um, and you hear a lot about STEM, but it's really STEAM, right? Like STEM doesn't move forward without the A. Um, and so that's what this is about. It's embracing technology and how the impact they can have on the art world. I think we had 167 comments on our first post about this. Um, a lot of people saying, why are you doing this? You're destroying the art world. Um, why are you investigating things that could replace artist work? Um, and then we had a lot of people saying, hey, I'm utilizing this in a different way. And it's not about the replacement of artists. It's not about trying to replace creativity. Um, it's about utilizing it as a tool. And the question posed in the prospectus is, is this art? Right? Um, and in what ways is this, is this changing the art world? And you're gonna see um, people using it in a lot of different ways. Um, from, we have a gentleman who is writing a graphic novel about his ancestors immigrating um, in the 1800s. And so he is, is utilizing it as trying to get an understanding of what the space looked like in the 1800s and what their outfits looked like, right? What, how were they clothed and what did the environment look like? And then he's taking those ideas and he's doing original watercolors to create this graphic novel about his family. And so it's really great in the gallery because you have the idea of this is what he's put into the computer through prompts, right? And then you have his original watercolors in his sketchbooks. So you're seeing the real original um, artistry, but you're also seeing how he's utilizing it in the creative process. I would say most people that are in the gallery, this is, it's a very new adventure for them. Um, and we have a textile artist, a, a fiber artist in the exhibition, and she was doing some idea, ideation around uh, the retinal nerve and what that would look like. And so she used those prompts, put it into artificial intelligence, and it gave her ideas of what the eye would look like. And then she took that and she did original paintings and fiber work. And so these, these are new concepts, you know, that she's starting to put into her everyday art practice. Um, we have another gentleman who created these, um, these letters. He's doing a whole truth series. Um, there's lots of uh, types of truth these days, it seems. And so he's doing a whole truth series and he, he created these uh, letters in artificial intelligence um, that they're all kind of fuzzy and they almost look like maybe Grover or something. Um, and then he, but he, then he made them in physical um, form. And so you have these big letters, um, they're big fuzzy letters, that's the fuzzy truth. <laughs> awesome. A sign of our times. <laughs>